Okay, guys. Uh, so coming to the third topic, uh, the models that we have learned, uh, for example, that f of x for x1, x2, giving us the y, that is the label uh, that we discussed earlier in the topic one, uh, is what a classifier is. Okay, so a classifier takes uh, features, that is a vector of x, which means to say x1, x2, x3, all the x uh, till xd, giving that d is the dimension of the vector and put it out as y. Y is the label that I need to have. Okay. So before uh, jumping into depth, which we'll do in the further courses, uh, we'll take out a few simple, uh, most commonly, these are the algorithms which are taught in the name of classification. That's why even if you just take this particular course, you will be able to say and explain most of the people uh, what machine learning is, what classification is, what are the common clustering algorithms, classification algorithms, etc. Okay. So to cover that, uh, we'll discuss the most common four uh, classification algorithms here. The first one is nearest neighbor. Second one is k-nearest neighbor. Third is decision tree. Fourth is support vector machine. Now, these four basically cover some common ideas. Okay. Now, since in classification, you all know so far is that you will have certain classes, class C1, C2, C3. What I will do is that I will have a new point X1, which will have some... Uh, x1, x2, x3, x till xd, given that I have d features, I have d number of features. Okay, so d is the number of features I have. Okay, so x1 will belong to either c1, c2, c3. And what I will do is that I will compare this particular features to all these three, the points in all these three. And whichever is uh, seeming to be more similar, okay, more closure. Uh, I will use that particular uh, label for x1. Okay, c of i. Now, the difference between these algorithms is in the way of measuring the similarity. Okay, so different algorithms have different way of measuring the similarity. Okay, the number of ways you have of measuring similarity, the number of classification algorithms you can have, because the, uh, we have to compare dimensions till that point, everything is same how do we or which rule do we use to compare the dimension is what the entire classification algorithm is all about okay so we'll go ahead and discuss each of these algorithms one at a time from this particular video now you will not be looking at the code for any of these but the algorithms will be explained to you in so simple language that even if you have understanding of any programming language before this you will be able to program all these from scratch if not most of the problems that you will get in an interview will not be about how do you program these things? Because it's an interview, not a coding test. Okay. So because they assume that if you understand the algorithms very well, coding is something you can learn in two weeks. And that's actually true. So you don't have to be an expert in coding all these algorithms. And even if you want to, there are two minutes videos using libraries, you will be able to do it. Okay. So you don't need to worry about any of those things right now. All focus that you should have is about what these algorithms are. What are the different ways that they are measuring? What is the difference in the way they are measuring the similarity between items. Okay. That is all that you should focus on learning in this particular set of videos. Okay. So let's start with that. 